Museum officials tell us somehow a plumbing access panel opened up in Snooty's tank, giving him and the other manatees access to an underwater passageway. The other manatees were able to make it in and out. Snooty made it in, but couldn't get out. For those who call Bradenton and Manatee County home, losing Snooty was like losing a member of the family. I'm a school teacher. I brought classes here to see him. He just had a huge impact on the city. <laughs> Diane Therese, one of the many who brought flowers, even lettuce, in Snooty's memory. I was definitely heartbroken. Like, this was a big part of childhood and growing up in the area. So it definitely, definitely tugged on my heartstrings. Snooty had just celebrated his 69th birthday. When workers arrived at the aquarium early Sunday morning, the beloved manatee was missing. The other rehab manatees were there, but no Snooty. A quick investigation revealed somehow he made it into that access hatch. The manatees had access to get into this tight area. The young manatees were able to get in and out of that, and it appears that Snooty was able to get into the area, but he was not able to extract himself from that situation. But how did this happen? That's what museum officials are working diligently to figure out. Was it a hatch that was bolted or was it? Uh... Hatch is typically bolted and it was bolted. And what, any indication as to what? We have not been able to determine what happened that allowed that hatch to be open just yet. A few years ago, there was an online hoax claiming Snooty had passed away. People in the area could not believe it. It'll be a real sad day if he ever passes away. And Sunday was that really sad day, the day we all learned that Snooty truly did pass away. A necropsy is now being conducted to determine Snooty's official cause of death. In Bradenton, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8.